Well, hello, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I'm going to do a harvest and see if there's any potatoes left in here. I've got potatoes in this one, and I've got some potatoes in this one. This one only had onions that I was growing, so I'm going to see if there's any potatoes left now that the cabbage is really done. But I don't want to disturb the tomato too much because this tomato plant is just doing fantastic. So let's dig in and see what I can find in those two totes, the two that are on the outside. Okay, I'm gonna get some gloves on because I'm not using a shovel. I'm not dumping because I don't want to damage the tomato plant. And now that that's come up, I see lettuce is coming up on the bottom, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I think it's lettuce, it's all over the bottom. Let's get inside, see what we can find. Oh, wow, now this I didn't know was here. Okay, that's interesting. That's a piece of turmeric. I don't even know how that got in. Oh, this has got roots. Oh my goodness. It wants to grow again. Okay, so we've got a nice potato. So not all is lost. Let's see what we got. That looks like a red potato. Anything that looks green, because it's been left in here. To, gee, they're on the surface. I wonder what's underneath. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful they look. Oh, this one's starting to go, see? So I'll have to be trimming this. Really, they should have been harvested a long time ago, and I'm never going to be able to get to the bottom. Right, they should have been harvested. So I may have lost a lot in there. There's a small one. There's a small one. Oh, there is another one. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take the cabbage out. Actually, there's more potatoes. Wow, they go, oh, that is just gorgeous. More small ones. Oh my, this is a lot better than I thought. I thought there was gonna be nothing in here. What I want you to see is this. This was all leaf matter. This goes all the way down to the bottom. And that's what I'm saying. You make your own soil. And look how beautiful. See a little bit of branches left? See that? This is what we're doing. We're gonna make our own soil. This is the best, obviously it's the best. Okay, I think I, oh, there's another one. Okay, this is, this is a surprise, because I didn't know what was in here. I am now, I hope you can see this. I am now to the, oh great, my gloves broke. So much for plastic gloves. Um, let me stay clear. I'm at the very bottom of the tote, the very bottom, and everything has broke down. This is the most beautiful compost, all made. So if you're not planting something in a tote or, or a bucket, but you've got all this leaf matter and branches, you throw that in there and water it. You have to water it because the microbes will do that for you. And you will end up with soil. So when you're ready to plant, you're gonna have your own soil. There's another little potato. See, there's some, now here it didn't break down that much. See, there's still some eggshells left. But if that means, oops, there's more, there's still a lot of nutrition in here. Now, I bet you I'm gonna be leaving a lot, of, see, stuff like this. These are tiny potatoes and they're gonna grow. So I'm gonna end up with potatoes later and hopefully I'll remember to go back to this video when I'm saying, why am I growing potatoes? Because I left some. Let's see if there's any down here. Underneath, there's another cabbage here. This is actually good because what I'm going to do when I'm done is I'm going to go to the bottom. Oh, I don't see any more, but that doesn't mean anything. And I'm going to load in some more leaves and stuff. Wait a minute. There's another one. Oh, wait. There's another one. See, this is green. So I'm not going to eat this. I'm going to plant this back. Can you believe all the leaves? Everything you saw me load in here is gone. Okay, there could be more. I think I'm gonna call it quits in this one. I'm gonna throw a bunch of this leaf matter down. Pull some of the lettuce leaves. Tomato leaves, old leaves. Let's put it there. And if I lost, left some potatoes, no big deal. But I will tell you, oh, cabbage and stuff are, is beautiful. That's the best compost. Cabbage, collard, kale. All right, so I'm done with this tote. Now we're gonna do the other one. All right, I don't know what's in here. Let's see what's in here. 
this one's not growing. So let's pull this out, but we're going to leave it aside. Make sure. Oh, a lettuce I just killed. Oh, well. Let's see if we've got any. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, so we got a potato there, a little green on that side. I might take all these cabbages out. Oh gosh, the potatoes are falling off the cabbage. And plant something new in this one and compost the cabbage. Okay, I'm to the bottom. See how shallow it went down? My goodness, it's only four inches of soil. Everything broke down and disappeared. Everything. That is just so cool. All those leaves I put in there, everything, and it's almost all gone. See it? Nope, yep, there's another potato. And you know what? I'm going to compost this one. Let's see what's in this. Look at that. I am going to break this apart. This is the greatest compost. I've already got my beautiful cabbage eaten and gone. Microbes are going to be so excited. Butterfly coming by saying, hey, you're taking my cabbage. Cabbage butterfly. Look at all the earthworms. Just everywhere. Earthworms. More earthworms. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to probably leave that there. You don't have to break it. I'm breaking it up, though. I'm going to get some more leaf matter in here and pretty soon set up some more and then where's my cabbage i could top it with potting soil and just keep growing in it look at this this is the best plant food you can get your own stuff and this is just fantastic i want to make sure my holes are not blocked I'm going to put some big pieces of wood there, and then I'll put some more of that there. Get this covered. I don't think I have any wood here. No. All right. So let's see. So these are the potatoes that I got out of here. And I'll decide I might make fried potatoes with onions. Oh, I haven't had that in a while. And then plant the rest back, and I think I'll plant them all in here for now. And then in the fall, I'll get some more planted. Isn't that gorgeous? So I've got two lots of potatoes now. So what I'm going to do by the hole is I'm going to put bits and pieces of wood. I even found the pine cone. I'm going to put that back there. I just don't want the hole to block up. And I want to make sure it drains really good. So I'm just putting wood there. Now, i put some of the leaves down there too on top. And in front, so the soil won't block up. And I got the leaves and everything in there like that. Isn't that cool? I am sure there's seed potatoes in here I have not seen. The other thing I'm going to do for now, since there's plenty of matter in here, just stuff I collected off the ground. Now I've got a ground cover. If you want pine needles to break down, you have to break them up or they don't break down good. It takes a long time. Okay, now I just hit this with water and I can plant my potatoes back at any time, which I might plant some back soon, or I can plant something else in here. Look at this. I will decide in the next few days what I want to do. I know I'll cut a piece off here, and I'll definitely get this planted. I'll probably get the first tote planted. You know, it's not too bad. But this is why I don't grow a lot of potatoes, because in one tote, in one container, and this is why I don't pick the south thistle, see the bird? In one tote or one container, the thing is I can get, let's say hundreds of dollars of greens. Because like my mom was telling me, three little squash at the store was $2.50, three little squash, and then she bought some greens and they were $3. Well, you could just keep growing more and more greens. So I prefer to do greens and maybe carrots and you want to do radishes and tomatoes. But when you grow potatoes here in Southern California, a big bag of potatoes is a lot of times on sale for a couple bucks, but it's still fun to grow. So I think I'm going to get potatoes in that first tote and let the tomatoes do their thing and I'll probably get something else with the potatoes. Maybe I'll plant a tomato plant in there too and we're going to let that little goldfinch eat 
my lettuce seeds. That's what he's doing. Let's take a look at him. You see him in there? And this is why I haven't been picking anything. Been leaving a lot. Once they're done, I pick the lettuce seeds, the heads off, and I crush it on top of a tote. And believe you me, they can't get every single seed. And I don't need thousands and thousands of lettuce heads. So I let them eat what they want, and then I crush it on the top, water it in, and I end up with hundreds and hundreds of lettuce. So they've got to eat, and I have got all the lettuce I want all year round. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. I just wanted to show you that when they're young and they're baby potatoes, the skin just cleans right off because it's not hard. Not like when you get it from the store. You just wash it with a little scrub brush on the, you know, the scrub on the back of this, the sponge and the skin comes right off. Here they are, all cleaned up. They're in the pot. I'm going to add some water. I'm going to boil them for a few minutes, strain them, and then add some onions and put them on the frying pan. Fried onions, potatoes, and there you go. Potatoes from the garden and onions from the garden.